Assalamu alaikum everyone this is Yasmin Qureshi and today's topic is barbiturates uh, this topic will be discussed on the basis of medicinal chemistry the material for this presentation is mostly taken from the book called Wilson and Giswold textbook of organic medicinal and the pharmaceutical chemistry rest of the material is taken from the different website from the internet so these are the outlines for today's presentation um, I will be discussing introduction of the barbiturates, its chemistry, synthesis, classification, its SCR study, mechanism of action, and the therapeutic application. Uh, and I will try my best to simplify as much as possible. And um, don't worry, it's, it's very easy and you will have a good grip at the end of the session. So let's begin the term barbiturates. What is barbiturates? Barbiturates are the first hypnotics and the sedatives why first hypnotics and sedatives there are various hypnotic sedatives present uh, in the present age but the first hypnotic sedative were the barbiturates were discovered in the 1903 after its discovery various uh, derivatives were synthesized were used clinically but these barbiturates were replaced by the benzodiazepine why these were replaced by benzodiazepine because benzodiazepine have much greater margin of safety means these benzodiazepine were much safer why these were safer this question will be answered once once we will be once you have the view of its mechanism of action okay so the question why barbiturates were replaced by the benzodiazepine will be answered at the end of the section keep keep this question in view and you will have the more clearer picture at the end of the session okay so why these drugs are called as barbiturates because of their chemical structure similarly like the benzodiazepine which we have already discussed in the previous lecture that it is the combination of the benzo and the diazepine ring structure Similarly, barbiturates is barbiturates are the derivative of the barbituric acid. Let's have a look on its structure. You can see in the structure of the barbituric acid, there is a heterocyclic ring structure. Nitrogen is present and in one and three position. What this heterocyclic ring structure called? It is called pyrimidine. Pyrimidine is the six membered ring structure six membered ring structure with uh, nitrogen present at one and one and third position you can see there are three unsaturations which are present which are not there in the barbituric acid why because of the addition of the oxygen at these three position which position let's give the numbering one two three four five excuse my writing it's very difficult to write with the pointer six so oxygen is present at the two four and six so write down your homework that you have to write the its IUPAC name on the basis of the pyrimidine that uh, two four six how many carbons and pyrimidine okay okay let's uh, move forward keeping in view that barbituric acid is not active pharmacologically okay uh, barbituric acid cannot be given as a hypnotic and sedative until these are converted into the barbiturates okay okay let's see how the barbituric acid are synthesized barbituric acid were prepared in 1864 and if barbituric acid was prepared in 1864 in the first slide we discussed that the barbiturates were discussed in 1903 so it was it was discovered much before the barbiturates by whom by the scientist called Adolf von Bayer and he he synthesized a prepared barbituric acid by combining malonic acid this malonic acid was uh, taken from the apples and urea which was taken from the animals okay let's have a look on the structure of the malonic acid so 
so you can easily understand the structure of the barbituric acid malonic acid you can see how many carbons are there you can see one two three but if we see closely there are two carboxylic group present okay and if these two carboxylic group one over here one carbon is also present so it is also called as the methane this is methane and di why because two carboxylic are present di carboxylic acid or malonic acid keep in mind this is malonic acid not malic acid malic acid is also di carboxylic di carboxylic but it have four carbon rather than these three okay let's have a look on the structure on the of the urea now you can see the structure of the urea the two amine groups are present bonded with the carbonyl group what uh, the other names of the urea are carbonyl diamine carbamide why it is called as a carbamide when the amine is bonded with the carbonyl it is called as the carbamide or amide okay uh what is the difference between the amine and amino which we already discussed that Ammi ammonia is nh3 okay uh, when one of the hydrogen is replaced by the carbon when it is bonded with the carbon it is called as the amine so now we have the picture what is uh, malonic acid and what is urea let's see its synthesis now you can see over here this is malonic acid and this over here is urea okay this your carbonyl group is there and the these two are the amine groups present okay now uh, you can see when the reaction is taking place there is the removal of the water molecule two water molecules are removed and what they are synthesizing barbituric acid what this reaction will be called barbituric acid is synthesized by the condensation reaction that results in the release of water dehydration and the heterocyclic pyrimidine we have the heterocyclic pyrimidine called barbituric acid now further substitution of the side chain on the ring produces the pharmacologically active barbiturates now let's see at which position these side chains are added on the barbituric acid to make barbiturates barbiturate is 55 diethyl barbituric acid let's look the structure of this is the structure of barbituric acid let's have a look on the structure of the uh, barbi barbiturates okay this is this is the barbituric acid at the fifth position if you see 1 2 3 4 5 at the fifth position if there is the substitution it will become it is called as the it is called as the barbiturate this is the general structure of the barbiturates and you need to practice all these structures uh now uh, focus over here the r present over here they are called as the r5 r5 dash because 5 to to differentiate between these two five this is r5 dash over here this is r1 now you may ask a question why it is called as the 5 5 diethyl only why it is not called as the one um one one also because if there is no any substitution over here only the substitution at the fifth position is there it will also make the barb it is sufficient to make barbiturates and produce the hypnotic activity it is not compulsory that the one substitution should be there okay we will be discussing in the sr study what substitution can be done on the r1 but please remember that 
the substitution on the fifth position is very important to produce the hypnotic and the sedative activity if the substitution is not there on this position dye dye substitution is not there on this position there will be no hypnotic and the sedative activity now have a look at the classification of the barbiturate this is the general structure and you can see uh, this i have taken from this i have taken from the book uh, uh, wilson which i mentioned in the beginning it is present at the page 444 in the 10th edition now in the classification you can see barbiturates are classified on the basis of their duration of action into the long duration intermediate duration of action and the short duration of action okay uh, in the the long duration is for the 6 or more hours short intermediate duration 3 to 6 hours and the short duration is less than 3 hours depending upon the indication which is required these drugs are selected if the longer duration is required such as the uh, surgeries or uh, any other or if the shorter duration is required uh, such as the for the sleeping or the sedation then the shorter duration are used okay Uh, now the long duration of action you can see the different uh, derivatives are given and in these okay in these uh, you can see uh, the at the r dash and the r dash uh, r5 dash and the r5 different substituents if they are added different derivatives of the barbiturates are possible Uh, and and if their dose is varied they can be used as the hypnotic as well as the sedative reasons theek okay? hai we already discussed what are the sedatives and the hypnotics sedatives are the drugs manufactured to relax the cns also known as the tranquilizer or cns depressant hypnotics or the soporific drugs mainly known as the sleeping pills and they are the they are the psychoactive drugs whose primary function is to induce sleep okay so both these both these indications are used for the barbiturates now if you see closely at the r5 the ethyl ethyl group is there and r5 dash there is the ring structure is present and the r1 the methyl group is present if the dose is given from 30 to 100 it can be given for the depression and if the dose 100 is given it is given to induce sleep okay and the usual onset of action is 30 to 60 minutes similarly in the methyl bital same ethyl group is there ethyl group at r5 dash is there and the methyl group is there only the difference is of uh, is this ring but this uh, methabetal is not used as the hypnotic it is all, only used as a sedative and the usual onset of action is again 30 to 60 minute if we see phenobarbital which is most commonly uh, used uh you can see on the r5 ethyl is there on the r5 dash this ring is there and on the r1 hydrogen is there one more point to note down over here that only in these two mephobarbital and methabetal the methyl group is there in the on the r one position which which i discussed earlier that if there is no substitution at r1 still barbiturates will be producing hypnotic and the sedative activity you can see all these derivative have no substitution on the r1 okay now uh, phenobarbital is used as a sedative in the dose 15 to 30 and hypnotic at the 100 and the onset of time is 20 to 40 minutes 
okay the duration of action of all these three drug will be six or more now if we see the intermediate duration of action um, if the writing is not clear over here i will also provide you the pdf file of this chapter on our system uh, i will share it with you so that you have the clearer view if it is not clear over here now the difference over here in the intermediate duration you can see the aliphatic chain is present okay the the straight chain is present and on our five da there is a branch chain present how it is branch on this carbon there is one methyl and there is two methyl that's why it is over here you can see the two is written so the branched aliphatic chain is present in the butyl bitter um in the butyl bitter uh, is not used as the sedative it is only used as the hypnotic dose we will see how this branch branch structure affect the activity in the sr in the next uh, next topic um again the different you can also see the branched over here over here over here the branch is present r1 is not substituted onset of action onset of action is 20 to 30 minutes whereas the hypnotic dose varies over here 200 to 600 and uh, 120 in the tulbutal 40 to 160 in the afrobutal now um, short the duration of action which duration is less than 3 hour, 3 hours we if we see the pentobarb pentobarbital in the pentobarbital the ethyl group at the r5 and the 1 2 3 4 5 carbon uh, chain is present at the r5 dash okay the sedative dose is 30 mg and the hypnotic dose is 100 onset of action is 20 to 30 minutes you can see the onset of action is quite uh, low 20 to 30 minutes in the intermediate and the short uh, in short duration whereas the onset of action in the long duration is slightly higher that is 30 to 60 okay next is sar of the barbiturates let's see the first point first point is both hydrogen atom at the fifth position of what fifth position of the barbituric acid must be replaced let's see this is the barbituric structure and you can you we already discussed that at the fifth position there should there must be the substitution or it will not produce any hypnotic and the sedative activity that's why at the fifth position we have r dash and r5 dash and r5 sorry if i am uh, miss uh, pronouncing r5 and r5 dash i think you get the idea r5 and r5 dash okay they must be replaced for the activity next point beginning with the lower alkyl there is increase in the onset of action and the decrease in the duration of action means as the alkyls are increased there will be increase in the onset of action means for example uh, if the al alkyl meet only two carbons are present at the carbon 5 okay and another derivative for example over here if i put for example if i put ethyl okay and ethyl over here and over here if i put you get 1 2 3 uh propyl is attached okay if this is the this one is lower alkyl this is higher this over here is a higher alkyl so as compared to the lower alkyl beginning with the lower alkyl there is increase in the onset this will be having less as com less onset of time this will be having high onset of time 
means for example onset of uh, onset of time over here is 20 minutes okay this will be having 30 minutes okay and decrease in the duration for example from the lower alkyl the duration of action over here is uh, 60 minutes but as the alkyl groups are increasing over here duration is decreased duration is decreased over here it was 60 minutes over here it will be 30 minutes why because of the increase in the alkyl group okay next point up to these hydrocarbons must be up to 7 to 9 it should not increase to 7 to 9 if these increase to 7 to 9 what will happen there will be the drop of activity when the sum of the carbon atom at position 5 is larger than 7 to 9 the activity will drop next point the hypnotic activity is introduced into the barbituric acid by the addition of the side chain especially if it if at least one of them is branched at the position 5 means if we have to produce the if we require the hypnotic activity in any of the derivative we need to add or the scientists need to add the branched structure branch structure on the position 5 for the introduction of the hypnotic activity okay let's move forward to the next point okay this point says the quaternary carbon at the position 5 is necessary for the um, activity let's see the position 5 over here we have this position 5 what is the quaternary carbon for example there is a structure over here to remind you what is the primary primary carbon in which attached with the uh, three hydrogen only bonded with the one carbon okay secondary carbon it is bonded with the one and two carbon okay and the tertiary carbon you can see one two three carbon but the quaternary carbon is bonded with one two three four it's saying that if the quaternary carbon is present at the fifth position it is necessary for the activity quaternary carbon is the saturated carbon bonded to the four carbon atoms next point Sixth point is the unsubstituted compound is more acidic and do not depress the CNS. This is again similarly like we discussed in the first point that the, the fifth position the hydrogen must be replaced or must be substituted. If it is not substituted it will be means the we can say it remain as the barbituric acid barbituric acid is more acidic and it will not depress the cns so you can say uh, this point also express that the barbituric acid will not depress the cns but if it is substituted if there is a substitution at the fifth position there there will be a derivative which will depress the cns an ionized drug can penetrate the membrane again if your drug is uh, present in the unionized form it can also penetrate the membrane next point introduction of the polar functional group such as ether i have given the example for your reminder ether bonded with the two carbon atom keto group okay hydroxyl group amino group or the carboxyl group on the side can usually destroy the depressant activity means if the sedation is required 
and uh, any of these polar functional group added in the structure the sedation activity will not be seen in the uh, derivative of that barbiturate next point replacing the oxygen atom with the sulfur atom at position 2 you can see at the position 2 there is a oxygen it says if this oxygen is replaced by the sulfur produce a barbiturate with more onset of more onset and the shorter duration of action and they are called as the thio thio is for the sulfur thio barbiturate or the thio pentyl these derivative have the rapid onset of rapid onset and the shorter duration next point nine point methylation in first position remember uh, we discussed that the at the first position the there we discussed in that classification slide the two derivatives of the long acting they have the methyl group at the first position it says the methylation at the position one produce a drug known such as methoacetal with only with not only rapid onset of action and the shorter duration of action but also increase the incidence of the excitatory side effects that's why the methylation is not there in the other derivatives why because the methylation results in the side effects which side effect excitatory side effect or the incidence of the excitatory side effects last point many barbiturates have asymmetric carbon what is asymmetric carbon asymmetric carbon also called as the chiral carbon that is attached to the four different types of atom four different types of atom how let's have the example over here you can see this carbon it is bonded to hydrogen bonded to CHO OH C2H2 okay these four groups are different so this carbon is the asymmetric carbon or the chiral carbon for example if over here it was OH in place of the H it will not be asymmetric or carbon atom for the asymmetric carbon it is important that the four different types of the atom are bonded with the carbon atom now when this condition is there when the chiral carbon is present or the asymmetric carbon these these uh, chemicals have the isomers they are they different isomers are also available okay so over here the point this point is mentioning that many barbiturates have the asymmetric carbon atom in one of the side chain attached to c5 means at this position that the the carbon attach asymmetric carbon attach D isomer are two times potent despite their similar access to the CNS means the access to the CNS of the L isomer as well as the D isomer have is similar but the D isomer have more potency you can see over here the exam the example d glyceraldehyde is present l glyceraldehyde how they are different you can see oh is present at the left hand side and over here oh present at the right hand side so it's saying if the if asymmetric carbon is there at fifth position d isomer is more potent okay next is the mechanism of action in the mechanism of action, barbiturates uh, ba potentiate the effect of the GABA at the GABA receptors. Okay, first let's understand what are the GABA receptors. We have discussed the GABA receptors in the benzodiazepine. This over here is the picture of the GABA receptor. You can see GABA receptors have five subunits. 
टू एल्फा टू बीटा एंड वन गामा वाई दीज टू आर गेवन टूगेदर we discussed in the benzodiazepine that it also potentiate the gaba at the gaba receptor barbiturates also potentiate the gaba at the gaba receptor over here we will be discussing that how these two are different how the mechanism is different from each other and how these barbiturates why these barbiturates are replaced by the benzodiazepine okay now uh, if we see the normal mechanism of the gaba receptor in the ga as the name indicates gaba receptor it binds the gaba over here you can see the blue blue point over here gaba bind at this side so that there is a influx of the chlorine ion why there is an influx of the chlorine ion when the body is in the stress condition there is the increase in the action potential but after some time body need to calm down to calm down the body what happens that the gaba bind to the gaba receptor there is a influx of the chlorine ion there is increase in the negative charge and this increase in the negative charge inside the membrane will result in the inhibition of the next action potential okay it will inhibit the excitatory mechanism of these neurons okay when the excitatory mechanism is inhibited the body is calm down or the relaxation of the smooth muscle take place so this is the normal mechanism that the gaba bind to the gaba receptor there is influx of the chlorine ion and there is a relaxation of the body it inhibit the excitatory uh, uh, mechanism okay now if this mechanism normal mechanism is not working properly properly in that case the body need to be given drugs benzodiazepine or barbiturates what barbiturates do barbiturates bind to the alpha or the beta subunit but in the benzodiazepine we discuss that the binding site of benzodiazepine is between alpha and the gamma subunits away from the gaba binding site this is the difference between the benzodiazepine and the barbiturate they have the different binding site you can see the binding site of the barbiturates is quite similar to the gaba so when the barbiturates are binded over here there is the opening of the channel but the opening of the channel the duration of time is more as compared to the benzodiazepine over here it is written increase duration of opening of the channel rather than the frequency in the benzodiazepine there is increase in the frequency but these channel are not open for the longer duration in the barbiturates it is open for the longer duration you can see there are three arrows are mentioning in the figure that that because there is a increased duration of opening of these channel when there is a increased duration of the opening of channel the ion channel remain open continuously for the longer period of time okay for the longer period of time which may result the depression of the cns and it may lead to the coma or death at higher doses it mimic the gaba it means when there is a slightly higher dose of the barbiturate it do not require gaba to get binded to the gaba receptor in the mechanism what is written it potentiate the effect of gaba it means that the barbiturates bind over here it help facilitate the gaba to be binded at this side so that these channels are open but you can see the binding site is quite near to the gaba and and it do at the higher doses even it do not require gaba to be there 
it will cause increase in the duration of the opening of the GABA channel and the profound CNS depression. One more drawback of the barbiturate is that it have the narrow therapeutic index. Lower therapeutic index means the toxic dose is not much higher than the therapeutic dose over here. You can see the uh, over here that the therapeutic index in the green is quite low and this is the toxic dose. So even the small dose is increased of the barbiturate, it may lead to the death or coma. That's why you can see why this all is happening. This is the you can see you can say the uh, binding site of the benzodiazepine as compared to the barbiturates okay so last point even the small overdose can result in the coma of that after this the first slide which says that the bar benzodiazepine replace the barbiturates this is the reason that the barbiturates were good in action but even the small increase in the dose it was causing the serious effects that's why these barbiturates were replaced by the benzodiazepine which are quite safer much safer than the barbiturates therapeutic uses this is the last topic of our presentation therapeutic used in past used in past to treat variety of symptoms such as insomnia dementia neonatal jaundice some of are not written like uh, anxiety sedation but they are largely replaced by benzodiazepine due to their addiction and reduce effect over the extended use uh, one more thing uh, the picture which i shown you of the mechanism of action of the benzodiazepine and the barbiturate it is basically taken from the video uh, one of the pharmacology of the benzodiazepine barbiturates made easy i will put the link uh, below you can check out it is explained quite well and it's very easy to for you to understand why the barbiturates replace the benzodiazepine okay now uh, why barbiturates versus benzodiazepine both have the similar effect on the cns depression psychoactive the biggest difference is motility rate higher dose of the barbiturate can lead to that taken alone benzos are rarely the cause of death last point the benzodiazepine are still used in the neonatal seizures uh, used one more thing that the used uh, why the barbiturates are used once the benzodiazepine class fails means the person have been given benzodiazepine for the longer duration of time and this is and now it's not producing the result after uh, some uh, years then the barbiturates can be used but due to its uh, uh, its uh, side effect of the death it is quite replaced by the benzodiazepine 